Good morning. Hello. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting life. I have some Monday morning mail. <laughs> Monday morning mail. Monday morning mail. While I wait for people to get on, I'm going to take a drink of water because I'm parched. I hadn't even started, you know, talking yet. And I needed water. <laughs> So, anyways, we'll wait for people to join. Oh, Cindy, Danelle, Ray, Donna's here, Terry. Michelle, Joyce, McBev, Suzanne, hello, let's see, where was I? Oh, come on. You want the computer? No, I got it. Um... Roseanne, Donna, Jacqueline, Judy, Joy, Katie, Glenda, Rebel, Jan, and Quilt Fic. Uh, Tats, Trash to Treasures, the LQ3 Quilter, Deborah, Paula, Nancy, Gwen, June, Alice, Sharon. Welcome, everybody. So today I have um, a postcard and three boxes. We'll start with the postcard. Oh, look at that. Scott put it upside down so that I couldn't see it. <laughs> All the way from Australia. Wow, this came far. Look at that. It's adorable. It says, hi, I love watching you and your beautiful quilts. You are my kind of crazy. Crocheted the butterfly just for you. Sorry, no purple cotton. Take care of yourself. <laughs> look at that. That's adorable. All the way from Australia. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know who you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's so pretty. And she crocheted it herself. I like it. Then I have a box from Texas. Right here. Ooh, right off the top, it looks like a pile of scraps. It's a pile of scraps. Let's see what kind of scraps are in here. Let's move that out of the way so it doesn't get lost. We've got, oh, look at what's this? Fabric paper. <laughs> they do make paper fabric. That's even got the red line like paper. How cool is that? Oh, we got some tulip. Ooh, some pretty solids. Some more scraps. More, ooh, look at this. I like that. What's that? How small are scraps I've never do you seen. collect? Uh, I like all scraps one inch or bigger, but I really, really, uh, what is the word for it? It's really hard for me to take really, really skinny ones because that's extra cutting. Like I'll get, we'll just say right here as an example. This looks like it could be a six and a half inch square, which I've been cutting lately due to my book that uh, was sent to me in the mail that book has uh, specific sizes so that I can make blocks. But so I can get a six and a half inch square here and then a second six and a half and then a two and a half by six and a half or four and a half or whatever. And then all the way down to usually there's like something like that much left right there. So then I'll cut two inch squares until I can't get any more of those or one and a half inch squares. And then I'll cut one inch squares. So scraps this size. Okay, but when they're really, really, really tiny already, that's a lot more cutting and a lot more pressing because I iron everything. So look at this. Oh, more Tula. Somebody likes Tula. Oh, look at so many scraps. Like, literally, I'm just going to start going like this. They really shoved them in here. <laughs> you remember the name of the book you got the other day? The book that I got last... Was it last week or the week before? It was probably the week before. It was last week. Oh, it was last week. I don't remember the name of it. Something. 
um, I don't know, you have to go watch the video, but the book has uh, sizes in it that I already cut the two and a half inch squares that are in the book, and I already cut four and a half inch squares on a normal like there's a bunch that i already cut on a normal so all i had to do was cut some new ones and now look i can add more to it like tula there's a big huge chunk here like this is just an overfilled thing look at all that just lots and lots of scraps so this will keep me busy so for a while you're saying if they're super skinny yeah, like this, like this not normally, I. these are usually what I have cutoffs of and cut them up, but I will cut them up. I just, you know, I don't think, I don't have a word for it that's not like rude or mean, honestly, but <laughs> you don't have to save these for me, these little things. If, if you want to send me scraps, you don't have to save these little ones. This, that's a lot of little tiny things to send in the mail and, you know, but. Look at all the, ooh, I like this one. That one's a nice, pretty blue. I mean, this is a nice scraps here. Somebody definitely makes a lot of quilts here. Because <laughs> this is a lot of scraps. So I'm going to go ahead and shove all this back in here. Hey, and all the solids can go with my recent scraps of solids, too. Look at that. I can make something. Oops, that one's falling out as I go. <laughs> All right, the next box is, there's no revealing information, is this big. From Washington. Ooh. Oh, and there's a card right on top. I didn't see a card in that one. Did you see a card in that one? I didn't see a card. No. Did I show? All right, let's read the card first. Ooh, I love this brand of cards because the inside of the envelopes always have something cool in them. Uh, this one has clouds. See that, Scotty? Oh, it's so cute. This it's cool. pinwheels. It's a little pinwheel card. So that's cute. Oh, my. Sometimes I can't read other people's writing very well. This one's in cursive. I just sent small box of stuff. Some you can use. Some you can use, like the zippers, maybe the fabric, the rest, and thought, and the rest. I thought that if you don't want, you could use for giveaways or make and sell for your channel. I hope you got the right kind of zipper, or I hope I got the right kind of zipper. I know nothing about them. <laughs> maybe one of these days I'll get brave and try something with zippers. Have a great day. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, right off the top, some canvas for bags. I like this. This is pretty. Look at that. Oh, I like that. I don't know a designer on this. I don't even know what any of this means. <laughs> it has, oh, I know it's upside down for you guys, but... I didn't know that's how uh, some canvases come because I always just get small chunks of it. So this would be nice for some bags. Ooh, mixed with jeans. Oh, that would go good together. This would go great with jeans, a jean bag. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. That's probably what I'll be doing. Well, you have a lot of bags to make. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We got some... Um, uh, what is it called? It's therm. So you can do pot hold pot holders and stuff. It's therm fleece with heat reflective outward. That's what that is. So you can do pot holders and uh, there's another word for it. Hot pads. Yeah. And other stuff with this right here. And definitely don't throw this stuff in the microwave. So don't make a bowl cozy with stuff like that. Can you show how to make a bigger bag for using on an airplane? A what? A bigger bag for using on an airplane? Um, I can try someday. Uh, like I don't your have computer bag. My you computer made bag. A computer bag. I made a computer bag before here. Show me a video of that. Here is from the Missouri Stars little tree kit that you make fabric trees. So here was from the Missouri Stars box, and it has the little 
three trees in it. Yeah, because there's a third one right here. To make little fabric Christmas trees or twine. The pictures look like fabric, just spun together. So there's that. What we got here? Oh, ooh, look at this. It's a little crib top rainbow, uh, rainbow unicorn quilt. Oh, that's cute. Floss required. So this one takes floss. It's uh, for embroidery. Oh, you follow the direction. I see what it is. And you know I have embroidery floss. I could probably follow this. Or I could give it away. But you follow with the embroidery floss and you put the you put it on the X's and you do embroidery. You have like way this. too much work being a <laughs> I might put that in a giveaway pile because I really don't do much hand stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I may not try it, but that's cute. And you just follow the instructions and you can make it. It even gives you thread, the thread colors that you would need to do this. Look at that. Oh, I'm itchy. This is keeping me from scratching. <laughs> We have the patchwork bag. You know, this is the technically the third one that I got <laughs> from the Missouri Starbucks. No, nobody wanted to make the bag. Apparently not. Because <laughs> I have the, I have one whole one, and then I had the uh, charm pack from another one in the pattern. So this is the third one. I guess I'm just going to be making me a bunch of bags. <laughs> but you know who you are. Thank you. And the ugly, oh, here's the fabric for the ugly sweaters. I didn't have that. The only thing I got last time was the template, see? Oh, the one time that one person sent me the fabric. ugly sweater template, but it actually has the fabric that are ugly sweater stuff. I totally wanted to make this too, so I'm probably going to cut all these out and make an ugly sweater Uh quilt because <laughs> I, I liked it i thought it was funny even though i don't like christmas fabric so there's that let's see what else is in here oh my god oh a little oh egg. a little uh strippy a zipper pouch kit look at that I will make that because I like these square boxed uh, zipper pouches. So I have made these plenty of times, lots and lots of them. So well, there's yeah, another did a bunch one of giveaways in that already comes with the zipper and the paper, or not paper, the fusible that you actually sew directly onto, I think. The stabilizer. Yep. It's, you sew directly onto the sta stabilizer. Look at that. That will be fun. And a felt bird kit. Oh, it even has the birds are already cut out. Can you see that inside there? Look at that. Oh, here, you can see better from the outside. So you cut out the felt birds. I mean, pull them out and you sew them and stuff them. And it has the floss to decorate them. So that'll probably get passed on because... I definitely don't make stuff like that. Holy guacamole. She said zippers in that letter. Holy yep, moly zippers. zippers. Look at all those zipper heads. <laughs> that's heavy. That is a lot of zipper, guys. Look at that. It's more than a yard zipper. So it's probably three yard zipper cuts because they come around. Look at that. Well, I definitely have enough zipper for bags now. <laughs> Look at that. I will use all that zipper. Wow, that is a lot. There's dark blues, there's navy blues, orange, pink, gray, light pink. What color is that? Maroon like a peachy tan color. Wow, there's a lot here. That Look is a at giant that. bag. Yeah, I've never actually, we've never ordered zipper that came like this. 
like rolled up on the three yards, you know? Yeah. I'm going to have to find out where she bought it from. That way we can have a better place to order, you know, for colored zippers by the yard. That's we get awesome. ours at eBay and Walmart and Amazon. Maybe that yeah. came from an actual company. Zipper site. <laughs> I'll have to look at the ends. They're probably like YMI or something. All right. You can never fit anything back in the box the way people pack it. <laughs> it's just in there. <laughs> There's that. And then this one is a. Oops, let me put this with here. Yeah, it's very heavy. Yeah. This, last one. this last one is from Missouri. MO, Missouri. It's a KCMO. Okay. Ooh, and there's a card right on top, which helps. Mm. It's in a sealed bag. It's here. in a sealed bag. They pre pre prevent it from getting messed up. <laughs> it says, you are great. Thank you for your tutorials. They are a tremendous help to my sewing. Uh, since you love purple, I'm not fond of purple. I'm enclosing my de-stash of purple. Ooh, I can, I could already uh, imagine what's in here. <laughs> and some one and and some half yard and fat quarter from end of bolt or quarter yard cuts from end of bolt. That's what it is. Um, and mystery purchase. And she hopes this will be useful. Uh, hi, oops. I went through my fabric room and found this box that was a, something meant for you. Oh, found this box and it was meant for me. So here's the postcard. Um, it's from it's Kansas Boulevard. City Landmark Project. Yeah, it says Boulevard. Yeah. Yep. So that's probably how they decorate like the main street maybe in the area. So that's really cool. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh. Right off the top, we got music note fabric. Look at that. A scrap of music notes. <laughs> Scotty, look at this one. Oh. It's the Flintstones. Oh, you have a devil do. And it has Dino in it, too. <laughs> Usually you don't see the dog <laughs> or dinosaur dog. Dino yeah. dog. <laughs> Well, look at Ooh, that. There's purple. Purple. <laughs> is this just, oh, yep. This is just a Kona cotton charm pack of purple. Yes, I saw it. Okay. Ooh, we got a gingham. That's purple. And a deeper, darker purple with white polka dots. And, ooh, this is K. Yep. Something it doesn't there it is K facet collection from Free Spirit Fabrics. See, I know some fabrics only because K fabrics are usually big flower floral prints on really cool backgrounds, which I like. Ooh, what's this one? Purple. Look at that one. I'm not gonna take it out of the wrapper right now, but that's purple. All right, just try to keep these stacks nice. Well, it goes with the Flintstones because Dino's oh, purple. Oh, look, here's more purple. Is this the same purple? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so that gives me four charm packs worth of this purple. So if I want to make a big, huge quilt, huh? uh, add four charm packs of regular to match this, and I will have, I didn't even know they sold it in three packs like this. Look at that. That's super awesome. So now I have four. Look at that. All right, what do we got here? We got some fabric that is, I'm just gonna take that off of there. Sunflowers. It's sunflowers. It feels a little bit thicker than normal fabrics, but maybe that's just because of the way it's folded up. I'm not sure. I don't remember what company does this fabric tissue. Um, I don't know, wherever it is, it's from Texas, the company. Ooh, look at this one. 
This one's Moon Garden Tula. Oh. I love it. I love how the, she did the flowers on this one. The problem is, let me just say this real quick. When I make bags and stuff and I use Tula for it, it's really hard to fussy cut out just this because then it ruins cutting out just this. <laughs> so it's really hard to get like specific sections, you know? Yeah, I have to try my darndest to get what I can out of it. <laughs> but yeah, I like the moon garden. It's very pretty. Ooh, Scotty, look, dog bones. I see. Do you need and they dog? say something on them. Yeah, they say good dog. <laughs> good dog dog bones scrap <laughs> good dog scotty good dog <laughs> my god scissors scissors it's a scrap it's been cut into a scissor scrap that makes great for those little bags the the ones that are i i say they're for men this is the boxy bags that are a little bit bigger because the men can put their the grooming kits in it. You know, their shower well, grooming kits for travel. It. Anyone can use them. But these would be good for it. Here's some more of that. I still can't remember. I know I've bought it before, but I don't remember what company. Loops and threads. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's that. So it's like fall. This would make a great uh, backing fabric for... Like a table runner or something. Yes, it would. We've got some bird scraps. Some space oh, scraps. Nice. I like that. We got some blue scraps. Got some muslin. You know how I could tell right off the bat if you're new to sewing and you don't know? Muslin has little dots in it. Most of them, the unbleached kind, they have little speckles it's from how the cotton is made. That's how you know it's muslin, just in case you didn't know. We got some little dinosaurs, T Rex. <laughs> These little T Rex look very arm challenged. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, what's this? This looks interesting. It's like uh, uh, Picasso, is that the word I'm looking for? The funky face ones? Is that Picasso? Yeah. <laughs> Those are so cool. It is, a, it's, yeah, it's like a Picasso yep, thing. It's like a Picasso. Very, very interesting. And there's not enough here to know what it, company it's from or designer. I've never seen that before, though. Ooh, oh, ooh, look at this. This is some butterfly stickers for my machine. I'm literally going to cover my whole machine in butterfly stickers. <laughs> Go for it. I'm going to put those right there because that's what I'm going to put all over my machine. What's in here? We got a bag of little scraps and I'm going to pull them out. I'm just going to leave them in here. And it looks like some interfacing scraps. Ooh, what's this? Oh, and another, another magnetic pin holder. Look at that. That's a big one. So, oh, it has a case that you can put on the top so that they don't get lost or come off or swiped off because that's what happens in here. Those ones get swiped off. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, a purple fat quarter bundle. Uh, let's go this way. Ooh, purple. This purple. Purple. And purple. That's so awesome. Lots of purple. So it just holds the pins and has a cover for it, right? I'm glad to send these send to you purple isn't my favorite so some thank you cards oh right we here. use them yes i definitely use thank you cards everybody gets thank them. you cards here is another bag of just scraps in a cotton cuts bag oh okay so they are probably cotton cut scraps because they die cut their fabrics and you can see the little um points on this all like from the die cutter look at the, the little points from the die cutter so here's a bag of die cut 
scrappies. Ooh, look at this polka dot. That's a really cool polka dot. I like that polka dot. Hobby Lobbies. That's a Hobby Lobby polka dot. Ooh, this one's like a purplish brown. That would be burgundy-ish. Like, uh, I don't know how to say it. Ooh, purple, purple. I like this one. This one has really cool designs on it. It looks like stitch designs. That's cool looking, yeah. Ooh, a little tiny floral with leaves. Got a green flannel scrap. A big chunk scrap <laughs> of a green floral. Uh, looks like stitching lines. That's pretty scrap. A though. batik purple. I mean purple, brown. I got purple on my mind. <laughs> a blue, like sky blue. It matches uh, your hoodie. Grungy kind of look. Oh yeah, it's about the same color as the hoodie. Yeah, yeah. it matches. Ooh, a little uh, flower pot and green dot, or like like a. Not flower pot, but uh, there's a word. There's a word for it. I don't know. Um, berries. I don't know what you're looking for. Berries. Oh, okay. That's um, the word Loda you were looking for. Deb Strain um, Gingham. Uh, this is a batik. It just feels different. That's a soft batik. There's a blue batik. It just feels really soft compared to most batiks. Whoever makes that one is good. <clears throat> and again, I need water because <clears throat> I'm parched. I think all that anti-itch medicine yesterday made my throat, like my mouth and throat dry today. <laughs> There's a blue with leaves. Some in the beginning, uh, Victoria from In the Beginning Fabrics. Ooh, I like the feel of this fabric too. What do we have here? You make me happy. Little me things happy. mean a lot. Hide and seek. Hello, I'm new. Cute cuddles. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> That's cute. Little, uh, Happy sayings. Ooh. This is the guinea flower um, case. Look at that. I like that one. Probably because it's like a bluish purple. In a way, it sort of matches the other one with the bee. Yeah. Because it looks psychedelic. -y. And that, another cape. This is a chevron stripe, which actually kind of like looks cool next to that. I like it does. That. They do go together. Yep. Yeah, well, it can go with any one of them. Yeah. It's wherever insane. that other one is. Yeah. See, it can go with any one of them. However, you want to do it. That's what I think is cool about designer fabric lines because you can use all of them, different ones, even from different lines with each other. They're like, Sometimes they go together. So that was a, I guess that would be a, it's not a coffee brown. What is that? A tea brown? <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. It's got little mushrooms on it. Ooh, purple. Nice little leaves. Oh, this one's neat. It's a checker with little zebra and giraffe and, uh, 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 tiger marks. The green one, I don't know what the green one would be. Alligator. That's a weird combination. Alligator, giraffe, zebra, and tiger markings. It looks cool, though. <laughs> but in, in nature, that's very uh, weird. All three, all four of those together. We got purple flowers. 
They're very equal flowers. How long, how long will it take you to get all this organized? Uh, it'll probably take me like two, three m months. No, you'll have it done this morning. <laughs> I'll have it done probably later. Is I'm still orcas? kind of, yeah, it's killer orcas. Whales. Killer whales, yes. Tell them you have one of those tattooed on you. Yep, I have one tattooed with a baby tattooed on me. Who makes this one? I'm kind of curious. Whale Song by Jody. Come on. Berks, Bergsma? I don't know how to say that. For Northcott. It's very nice. Very nice. Yep, I have one tattooed on my leg. It's a mother and daughter thing. So me and Alexa both have it. There's that. Can you explain poppy cotton? Poppy cotton. Uh, isn't that a is name it, of a brand? Is it a or, brand name or is it yeah. a cotton poly blend? What is it? Is I it like think linen? it's a, I don't know. It's a name. I don't know a lot. I just know it's, I don't know a lot about fabric or designers or lines or whatever. I just know it's pretty and I want to sew with it. <laughs> this one's like a scrap card booking may stamps i don't know i can't tell it looks like scrapbooking what is it called vintage sewing stash by amy stewart from micro michael miller fabrics interesting but when it's cut up small enough it goes with anything but that would probably be cute for bags i guess because you know some of those kind of prints are cute for bags we got a little floral. We got buttons. <laughs> Just orange and blue buttons. And we got floral. What's on this one? Little puppy dogs uh, at the park. <laughs> That's little puppy dogs at the park. They need a puppy That's dog. That's so cute. At the park. Yeah, look at the doggies. <laughs> Ooh, it's a um I can't say this is final. This is brushed cotton. I can feel the difference. It's this one's a brushed cotton. I want to So feel. it's really soft. Ooh. Yeah. But it's not like flannel is with the the thickness of it, the texture. So that's brushed cotton. It's really pretty because it's a rainbow. Ooh, look at this little floral. I like those flowers because I can quilt stuff like that. What do we have here? Is this like a panel cut or a border cut? Oh, it's a border fabric cut. So it's side down for you. So it's a little uh, border fabric, which can actually be blocks because this is a big enough chunk to make blocks out of. Look at that. Ooh, this one has animals on it. It's, <laughs> it's rabbits and uh, hedgehogs and squirrel, squirrel and birds. <laughs> oh, and a fox. Yeah, there's, there's a fox, fox on there. there, too. He's sleeping. He's, yeah, he <laughs> says, yeah, right. Leave me alone, people. This is In the Beginning Fabrics. Hedgehog Hollow from In the Beginning. This is 2022 fabric, so you could probably still find that. Ooh, purple. And some orange. And when you combine the two, you have Halloween. <laughs> yes. Ooh, look at this one. Here's a gingham. But this is green and darker green and darkest green. Hey, this can go with my fishy. I wonder if this matches that fat quarter bundle that I have. This one's called At the Lake, Riley Blake, uh, Tara, Tara Reed. I might have to look and see. I have a fat quarter bundle that has fishies on it. And if this matches, this can go with it as like a border fabric. Because there's like a yard there, it looks like. We got some scrap. Ooh, look at these. These are pretty. Pretty. Oh, that is. The kids used to buy me these flowers all the time, and then they'd just die in the kitchen window. Orchids or whatever? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, yes. Lexa used to always want me to get you them. We got this. This is a woven because I can see it by the weave. You can see the weave of it. Let me hold that to the camera. Can you see that? It's a very loose weave. So those are woven. But I have a whole slew of woven fabrics. What do we got here? Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I probably have to make a bag or something with this because that <laughs> way I can send it to Alexa because isn't that what she plays, D&D? &D? Yeah. <laughs> My daughter Alexa plays D&D. &D. <laughs> she can get a little, like, what is it, a card case or whatever for it. <laughs> oh, little stack and blocks. I remember the library has these, remember? Cyrus yes. used to love to go to the library and, yes. and mess with them. And all the daycare kids. And yes. all the CJ daycare and kids. And the daycare kids used to love yeah. to play with ABCs, the blocks. Uh, ABC dot 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 XYZ. Stacy it's it's it, I can't pronounce that at all. But either way, it's adorable. My son used to love these stack em blocks. Yes, he'd sit there for hours. <laughs> and yes, he'd make a huge Ooh, castle and tear it down panel? and make another one. Or is this more border? This is another in the beginning border print. So let's hold it this way. Looks like a pillowcase. Yeah, it kind of does. But it's border fabric. And we have some breast cancer. Is that purple or pink? I can't tell on this lighting. It's either pancreatic or breast cancer because pank. pancreatic is purple and breast cancer is pink. It looks pink. It's got the yeah. hearts and everything. Yeah, it's, pink. it's definitely for breast cancer awareness. Yep, because here's some more, but a different um, one. So breast cancer awareness, pink ribbons, and some pink with butterflies. Ooh, it says faith and hope. Look at that. That's pretty. Again, it's uh, Riley Blake's um, awareness because it even has awareness ribbons on the salvage. Ooh, what do we have here? I don't know how much is here, but. More purple. It's not marked, but it's purple and it's yardage. Look at that. Pretty purple. Ooh, here's another one. It's marked, but they didn't write how many yards are on it. Look at that one. That one's pretty cool, like feathers. Island boutiques, so Bali strips. This is the leftover scraps from some island batiks so they're purple come on turn purple scraps oh that's beautiful yeah purple scrappy scraps and buried in here we got a f I'm just gonna take that off a free spirit <sighs> bats that say down? Yes. Halloween that's fabric. And last but not least, another measuring shirt. <laughs> Only because I have so many of these. But these are really cool measuring tapes. And I realized that they make all different shapes. Like some lady I was watching here on YouTube. There's a, a channel I was watching. She has a little elephant one. It's shaped like an elephant. And she's like, it's so cool because you just press the button. <laughs> so there's all that. Look at that. That was a lot. Was it his nose then that came out? The elephant's nose? The yes, it came out from the nose. Okay. Well, I was figuring it's got to be the nose or the yeah. tail. Elephants yeah, aren't known so. for their tails. They're known for the nose. So <laughs> Look at all that. That's a lot. The lady on here has a duck one. Oh, if they have a duck one too. They have it probably, probably tons of, of different mm -hmm. animals. Yeah, it probably comes out of the beak. Yeah, they probably make tons of these little measuring tape things. All right, so let's move some of this out of the way. Take a drink of water. 
You gotta say something. Else. Oh, Susan, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. for all of my inspiration. You are too kind. Look at that. That is amazing. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know why I'm just so thirsty, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, someone has a Pinocchio one. Oh, that's awesome. See, I knew they made tons Oh, oh of that those. would be hilarious. Yeah, where the nose grows. <laughs> that would be funny to see. All right. So that's all I have today. Anybody have any questions or anything while I'm still on here? It can be anything related. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm probably not going to do it right now because I actually have work to do, but... Um, Later, I'll probably get to all this and uh, start organizing things because, I mean, some of it's easy. It's already organized. I just put it on the shelf. <laughs> but, so we've got any questions? No questions, huh? Well, well now. I really like this postcard. I love handmade stuff. This is so adorable. Especially when it's a postcard. <gasps> That's so cool. I wish I knew how to crochet because that would be like really cool to make little crocheted things. Little crocheted I don't know if my mother can still crochet, but she could teach you if she could. Well, mom and Nancy, Becca's mom, tried to teach me how to crochet and I kept making these like really funky things. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I, I'm just not a crocheter, but if I knew how, that's what I'd be making is stuff like that. Yeah, definitely stuff like that. All right, guys. Are you going to have to buy some more bins? No, I I have six shelves and one, two, three. Three dressers that scraps and stuff go in and they get cleaned up. So like if it looks like it fills this whole box, by the time it gets into the drawers, it's usually flattened out or cut up and then it goes into these cases you know that you see on the side here um one of these days i mean i've given you guys like a, a organization of my scraps before video but that was when everything was in this room and it was super crowded now that there's two separate rooms one for all the fabric except for this stuff this obviously stays in here because there's no room for it in the other room but um one room is for all the fabric and it's a lot easier to organize when it's all in one space or at least like if you only had one room all of a certain thing should be on one side of that room to make it easier to organize so having the two rooms where all the fabric is in one it makes it a lot easier to organize and display to where i can actually see what's there before when i was only in this room if you guys remember i had a shelf on this side on top of a thing which was on top of this with other shelves around it and, and i had like yardage on one side and this there and that there and then more yardage, you know, folded up down there. and It was everywhere. Now it's all literally in one area. So it looks like I have a whole, whole lot. There's really not a lot there, but it looks like there's a whole lot because it's all in one place. And then all of my pre-cuts are in one place. All of my, you know, scraps are in one place. And then all my fat quarters have their own dresser because... <laughs> Yeah, I've been, what I do from some of the scraps is if they're big enough, I'll cut a fat quarter off of it. If I get a fat quarter, like I said, I could make another video showing you guys how I do this. I'll cut fat quarter first, then 10 inch squares. Then now I'm, my new thing is six and a half inch squares and six and a half inch rectangles. But um, I'll cut all the sizes, the, all the things that I know that I'm going to use in the future and then move on to the next with that same piece of scrap. So one of these days, I'll get to a video of it. You tell me that you made me buy you more shelves. Yeah, Scott, I made Scott buy me more shelves because I needed to organize the last time I had um, mail. So. Do you make clothes? All right, guys. Huh? Do you make clothes? I do not make. Well, I can't say I do not as in no, no, no. I do no, know how to make clothes. Sense. I have made clothes. I've made dresses and pajamas and pants and tank tops. So. Did you get yeah. a new Alyssa iron? Did I what? Get a new Aliso iron. Yeah, I, I got an Aliso iron sent to me. Yes. And that's what we've been using. It doesn't have an off and on for the 
the lift on the Oliso to go up and down it doesn't have an off and on switch for that. So it is kind of a little bit aggravating that it can't be turned off. But other than that, it's perfectly fine and it works great and it's a really hot iron. So where do we get our backing fabric? Backing fabric? We usually order from Marshall Dry Goods, especially for big quilts. I order the 108. I order lots of 108 from Marshall Dry Goods because it's cheaper. Do you use sheets? And I use sheets. I also buy sheets from Goodwill. Like I go through and some of them are brand new still in the package and people donated them. So we buy them and use them. Um, it's rare I use the fitted sheet, but sometimes I'll cut the out, you know, because the fitted sheet has a seam on the four things. So it goes over the bed. Um, I'll cut out the section between those seams and use that for like lap quilts and stuff. So I I'll, sometimes I just buy the whole set just because of it. That way I get two quilts out of, you know, the same backing fabric. But I can quilt a queen's up to queen size quilts using king size sheets. And I can't do king size on king size. Can they see the fabric? Can they what? See the fabric room. You guys want to go in the fabric room? It's a disaster right now, but I'll take you in there. So take let's in there and then it'll be the end. Let's go for a trip and I'll show you the room real quick and then we'll get off of here and I'll actually do my best when I can to make a video about it. All right. It's gonna be dark at first because we keep our house dark, it keeps it nice and cool. All right. So we're in the entryway to the room. It's got like a long entryway with a closet. I'm going to turn the camera around, which is this button right here. And then we're going to walk in as if we're walking into the room. So what you see when you walk in is this. So you see quilts here, quilts on the floor, because I'm trying to keep them flat. Um, pre-cut pile. Those are my own personal pre-cuts. The embroider machine stays in this room. There's my pre-cut shelf. And then I got panels on this side and kits on this side. Uh, this is not fully full behind there. There's more room. I just try to pull it all to the front. That's all scraps and go through my strings bin is in here because I've been making piles. Uh, there is a bed in here <laughs> and the frame to the bed. That's where all the stored quilts are. That's all scraps that, uh, the, my vintage fabrics are in those bottom two and then bags and bags of scraps that I have yet to go through. There's my dresser of fat quarters over there. Obviously I have an ironing board because I'm in the process of cutting scraps up. As you can see, my six and a half inch square pile and so on because, uh, because of this book right here. That's the name of that book, The Magic Numbers Quilting. Yeah, no, Gwen, pay attention. Yeah. She's been asking like crazy. Yeah, that's the book that I'm working from because the cut size is in here. So I'm cutting squares from my stash and from stuff that people have sent me. But all these drawers, as you can see, when people send me scraps, I literally press it all and then I fold it all into here nice and flat. And you can see I fit all those in there. So a whole, this is like three boxes of scraps and folded into here and, and flat for now. They're just flat folds until I cut them up. And then again, all that over there is all scraps. So this is all my scrap bins on this side. And then behind the bed is all the regular yardage shelf and where I keep my like one third yard, half yard, quarter yard, three quarter yard cuts all right here. But you can't see any of it because the mattress is there. And when we choose fabric, Scott just holds the mattress out of the way. But yep, this is my disaster here. I keep my batiks all right here and then this is all embroidery stuff as you can tell because the embroidery machine stays in here and then on the way out again you see quilts again and this tub right here is all my flannel scraps so all of the stuff from me making baby quilts over the years it just goes in there but it's overflowing but that is my room and it's a disaster like i said um we bought the the space bag for the mattress to put it in the garage we just have yet to do it <laughs> We'll get to it eventually, and then the room will be clean. But when we have company, that's where they stay. We lay the mattress down on the ground because there's plenty of room on the floor in there, and they just sleep on the floor on a mattress. <laughs> so there's that. And then again, this room, all the pre-cuts are on this shelf. So once I cut them over there, then I bring them over to the bins that they go in here. 
and that's the only pile of fabric in this room, unless it's the scraps from making quilts. I kind of mean to chop them up afterwards, but I don't. So they end up under the ironing board in a big pile that I need to cut up. <laughs> so but that's the only fabric that's in here besides the finished quilt tops over in the closet. <clears throat> All right. Well, there was a little tour, I guess. <laughs> Anything else? No, All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get going and I have a lot of work to do today, like actual long arm quilting jobs. So I got to get those started on. But thank you guys all for hanging out. All right. Yep. All right. Everyone's saying bye. Well, thank you guys. And uh, thank you all who sent mail. Um, eventually, I will use it all. Scrap wise, I have a lot of pressing to do, <laughs> but I don't mind ironing. It's things I can do when I can't sleep that doesn't wake anybody else in the house, which is Scott. He's the only other person, but anyways, have a good day, everybody. And don't forget tomorrow morning, there'll be a video on a quilt. Quilts, plural, fun. You know Yay. It comes, on? it comes on at 6 a.m. our time. Okay. I think. Yeah. Anyways, so don't don't forget to check it out tomorrow. A, a new video of a new pattern for fun. See you guys. Bye. Oops, it's over here. I don't like that they did that. They put it on the wrong side of the screen. <laughs>